Taurus, welcome. This is your heart spread for the end of December 2021. A love, romance, and relationship reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus energies. Now, I set it up ahead of time. It was a pre-shuffle. I want to save some time. And um, I haven't gone into it much myself yet, but it, it looked kind of obvious, uh, especially here. We have your card, the hair fan, coming up on the bottom of the deck with the overall energy. In this case, this is a heart spread. represents the one that you can't get off your mind, the one that you just can't get out of your head. And this, um, you're coming in showing very strong. You would be, if this is your reading, uh, someone who's self-contained, um, even uh, financially probably take care of yourself. Um, if you need something, uh, you can go get it. Uh, you might say, oh, I'm not rich, but, you know, I'm doing okay. Something like that kind of energy. And I don't sense either uh, that's really like a desperate energy in terms of a relationship. I was kind of wondering how this might have come together. Because whereas you're showing up here with the Ten of Pentacles uh, in and around love and relationships, your person's showing up with the Four of Wands. So they're in, I believe, a relationship already. Uh, not yours. Um, so, in some way, I don't know if you know this or not. Um, I think you might know um, because um, this is your energy here of how you're reacting to them. And a Three of Wands is an interesting reaction. Uh, kind of indicates to me like you're um, engaging them, uh, but you're sort of not uh, all the way in. You're still looking. It's, you know, this is a three of wands in this position of how you're feeling about your person. To me, it's like uh, like if you're on a dating site and, you know, you, you're still, hopefully you're telling me, well, look, you know, dating site, I'm dating, you know, um, just want to get to know you. Uh, and you haven't really locked it down. You haven't made up your mind. You haven't given your two of cups, which is where this person's at, the way they think about you. This is a complex reading. So while they're involved in another uh, relationship, possibly a marriage, I, I got marriage with the hair font on the bottom of the deck. Um, the way they're feeling is this could be a choice, but you're definitely one of them. And with this as being the energy of the way they feel about you, it's really like what they want is to give you their two of cups and they want you to give them your two of cups. Now, <clears throat> even though this is someone you can't get off your mind, you know, um, it seems like you're not, you know, uh, really obsessed with them here. And your advice from spirit down here is the four uh, pentacles. Considering you come in with the pinnacle, the ten of pentacles, it basically saying this is how your best advice from spirit and how to interact with this person is basically don't give them a whole lot. It's hold on to what you have. So it coming under the three of wands, I would say this energy is a good thing here. You could argue if that's a good thing in any relationship to be in the energy when you're in a relationship, but this is just who you're obsessing on, you're thinking about, you can't get off your mind. So um, um, maybe it's becoming more clear to you this is a, not someone that's necessarily a realistic. And with the universe giving you this message, though, um, it could kind of be to sort of try to take your attention even away from them. You know, don't, in other words, don't give them your energy, you know, um, with the four of uh, pentacles. It's for God's sakes, don't give them any money. <laughs> now, um, this is an interesting uh, one here. They have the tower, and this is their advice from spirit and how to deal with you. Huh, I, it's hard to see this in an advice position in any other way than that their marriage is going to come down very most likely because of this interaction that you guys are having. Now, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. Surely, they're not out. Look, I don't see you guys meeting on a dating site or anything. You know, um, sorry, I brought up the dating site analogy. I don't think that's really uh, relevant here. Um, it's just that energy of like, you're, you're not overly jumping in here uh, yourself. Um, and so... It could be that, the, if, if, would this be in the advice position if there's a cross watcher or if you want to share with them? I'd love to see that with these readings. You share it with your person. 
um, it could be the advice is kind of see this tower as a good thing in terms of relating um, here to your Taurus. Uh, because obviously it's going to free you up. That's what the tower does, you know. It's going to bring down things and, you know, whatever else. I mean, you're you're free, you know. You maybe take a brick or two with you and you go. Now, you know, you don't, you don't have a tower anymore. Um, and then it's very interesting here too. Um, this is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. And kind of the most important card in the reading, I think. Um, and I find it very interesting that the Six of Swords, she's pulling uh, towards the tower here. But being that this is between you guys, I, I think that this is going to bring you together. Um, it's it when this tower falls on their relationship. I'm see, I'm not making any judgment. Relationships is how we learn, it's how we grow. Is a lot of them come together in, in, in different ways. Um, but it's really showing a very clear picture a, as the tower falls. Uh, this is where you might be drawn towards them here, um, with the six of swords energy. And it's sort of like, even though you're giving this advice, you know, hold on and don't give them too much. I think that's still solid. You, this is uh, your mind, thoughts, and communication. And you're kind of up here in this three of uh, wands energy where, you know, you're talking to them and you're interested, but maybe you're also interested in someone else. And very possibly the whole reason why you're kind of in the three of wands is because they're in the four of wands, right? So if they weren't uh, married, maybe you'd be more interested. So what happens when the tower comes down? Well, maybe now they're not married. Could be some time uh, goes by here. It could be happening right now. Um, the holidays are stressful. Um, it shows to me that you're going to then come across to them. Now you're going to open up to them. And, and even though it's a six of swords, though, uh, it's like, you know, uh, maybe uh, the way you do it's a, a little bit like... Uh, uh, um, clandestine or you know indirect indirect you know uh, reach it out to them and then with the outcome being the knight of swords particularly if you have a uh, air sign person that you're dealing with here you know uh, Gemini or Libra or Aquarius person um, it does show them coming towards you and especially with their having the two of cups here it's like they're making a clear choice. My sense with the Two of Cups right from the get-go was they want to give you their cup and they want you to give you know, them your cup. That's This is a, a legitimate Two of Cups here because this is in the position how they feel about you. So uh, if you believe in tarot and you trust you know, the whole process, you know, this is not going to lie. This is going to tell you how they, how they actually feel. Um, and this is them then coming to you again with the night, you know, by proclamation, you know, I'm coming in action. Mars are always actions. Um, but maybe what first needs to happen for them is words have to be said. But that night is coming towards um, your three of wands. So we've got kind of like a little circle here. So in the end, you know, I still don't see exactly uh, what's going to come from this. But what I see here is this process where um, you're going to kind of open up and come to them. And open up more of a dialogue with them when you see that this marriage is ending and this relationship is ending. And then as soon as you do, that's when they're going to really come towards you. Like, um, really come towards you with the, the Knight of Swords. It's uh, very directly, uh, very a little bit, could be a little bit raw. I mean, they're coming out of this energy, how you shake it. Maybe they have been haven't been in love for years. It's complicated, right? But nevertheless, it's kind of a raw energy, a tower moment they're dealing with. So um, that's what's going to happen. After that, and we'll look towards January um, and see uh, what's going on maybe after these holidays, guys. Let me know what you think of this reading. And uh, if you could think of anywhere <clears throat> to share it to help me out, any platforms, please do. Uh, do hit a like. That helps so much and helps the algorithm get it out more. And make a comment if you want at all. I'll try to respond. And the comments help a lot. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. Trying to get to a thousand. We can do this live. Thank you guys. Let me know what you think.